I'm Matt Kenny, and here's some Canadian news. I know it can be hard to understand what the politicians are really saying, so I'm here to translate it for you. Yes, uh, Minister, just to go over a question you've been asked, I think, um, several times now, but just to get it clear in my mind, I'm quoting here from the Allen report saying that he has not found any suggestions of wrongdoing on the part of any individual or organization. No individual or organization, in his view, has done anything illegal. Indeed, they have exercised their right of free speech. But you've spent you know, two years, three and a half million dollars, investigating people and organizations who were simply exercising the rights of free speech, according to Allen. So was it worth it in the sense that maybe you're saying it was wrong, maybe not illegal, but you spent all this time and money investigating people who were doing legal activities, exercising the rights of free speech? Well, look, the report was never meant to be something that would censure or impugn or punish. It was never meant to be uh, finding whether something was illegal or not. Um, frankly, I don't care if the activity is legal or illegal. It doesn't impact or de de detract from the fact that Albertans were hurt. People lost their jobs. People lost their homes, their investment, their income. The province has been set back at a competitive disadvantage. The fact that it's, uh, whether it was legal or not, was not part of the terms of reference. We didn't ask him to find that. And frankly, it doesn't matter. I think the report speaks for, for itself. And again, if you wanted to ask an Albertan who lost their job, an Albertan who was going to have a job working on a pipeline, working on an energy project, working in one of our oil and gas companies, or a laborer that would have, have good, a good paying job, if it was wrong, that person I'm pretty sure would say it is wrong and they'd be outraged. We love instructive countries like Russia and Saudi Arabia. Okay, the follow up. Then what in this report would stop these individuals, organizations from continuing to exercise their right to free speech? Look, I don't think there's any, any issue or concern with anybody exercising their right to, to free speech. And there's no doubt that many of these organizations and activists have genuine concerns for, the, for climate change and the environment. That's a given. But what's the problem here is the lack of transparency, the lack of disclosure of foreign funding coming across the border and what it's used for, where it came from. I, I think that's the problem. And I think the other issue here is uh, it's not a matter of freedom of speech or, expre or, or, or expression. It's a matter of disclosure and transparency. And I think the other key thing is the report found that these groups operated as business, an industry under, an, unto itself. Their job was collecting funds, collecting grants, using them for causes. And we know that this is now, it's money looking for a cause. It's gonna come after the next thing. And we, we can't let that happen because we need to be able to diversify in our province, to be able to build the energy resources of the future, whether it's hydrogen, carbon capture, small modular reactors, critical and rare earth minerals. We suspect and we predict they're coming after those things, and I think this report is extremely important to show what happened in the past and to use that to learn from it and prevent it from happening in the future. And the first thing, the first recommendation, is the most one of the most important ones because it asks for transparency and disclosure. As I said in my speech, those organizations could fix that today. They could post the sources of their funds. They could post what they use it for. They could disclose it tomorrow. Just exactly like what they're asking public corporations to do to disclose their ESG initiatives and climate risk. They could do that themselves and that's what we're asking them to do. Nothing! But they shouldn't be allowed to say anything bad about the government or the industry the government protects because being against the government is wrong and evil! We can't grasp the concept that oil and gas is not our energy future. We're trying to create hysteria around anti-Alberta campaigns that might exist in the future. Even though environmentalists have been pushing for energy diversification for decades, we're gonna say it was our idea.